Hello, it is Wednesday, February 14th, 2024. I'm Chris Remode. Welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Wednesday crossword, which means we're going to be solving a midweek, mid-difficulty uh, New York Times crossword today. And it will have a theme, of course. And this midweek, mid-difficulty themed edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Henrik Koskinen, David Innes, Josh Lucas, and as always, the indomitable Shoalmaster. So thank you so much to the four of them. They're benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, which means they support this channel. They keep it going day in, day out. And for that, I'm very grateful. Thank you to those four. Thanks to everybody who's a patron at any level. It really does mean a lot to me. And if you'd like to contribute to the channel in that same way, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link on the description field underneath the video and you'll find there all of the bonus solves available to patrons as well as for benefactors the let's check the crosses official mug so thanks again to everybody who does back the channel and uh, if you'd like to support the channel in a different way you can also um, subscribe on youtube like the videos comment on them if you feel so moved those things are all helpful as well thanks if you engage in any of those activities and then finally there's the daily solve discord chat server a nice friendly chat community you can join via a description field link so check it out all right, let's get on to today's crossword. This is a construction by Ella Dershowitz, who's constructed, I think, around 10 puzzles for the New York Times. It was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. And I can see some shaded cells, actually, poking through the gauzy privacy veil. So let's find out what those are all about, thematic in some way. Let's start solving. Love, it says. Okay, so it's... Oh, it's Valentine's Day. So that that is going to be our theme. And it looks like also... Uh, we've got a sort of, for the third time, I think, in the last week, we have a puzzle that is symmetrical about a vertical axis. It almost looks like a, I don't know, sort of butterfly or something. If you imagined a, if the, with these non, non-symmetrical shaded cells sort of being wing patterns or something, I don't know. Uh, in any case, uh, yes, we have another, another um, crossword whose grid is symmetrical about its vertical axis. So that is unusual. They're usually rotationally symmetrical. But anyway, let's get on to solving. Confidence. Uh, confidence would be what? Surety? I don't. I don't know. I'm not. I don't know. I mean, it could be that, but I don't know. In the same quantity, as much maybe, or as many. I can imagine it being either of those. Let's see if we can confirm or deny the ASM part at least. Blank seeker. Hmm, not sure. Pit, e.g. And fancy billiards shot, a carom or a... I don't know enough about billiards to know if there's a word like this that starts with M. Okay, well, can we can we see if maybe we think it's as many or as much? Sci-fi sky sighting, a UFO. Okay, that would, that would make for as much. So... Popular Mexican beer. Um, I'm sure I know this. I can't think of the answer. That's frustrating. Uh, I think Pacifico is a Mexican beer. What is the one I'm thinking of that does start with a C? Corona. There we go. Uh, that's good. That makes this answer look all the more likely. Submit. To submit a, um, a paper, maybe in school, you hand it in. So submit, hand in. That is looking good. So bubbles on a beach are sea foam. All right, so what do we think this O is spelling? F-O-N-D-N. So maybe it starts with this N here, or maybe we read it the other way around. I don't know. Maybe we read it counterclockwise, I mean. Let's see if we can get any more crosses here and figure out what that O is doing. Answer the simple question, yes or no. All right, well, that was a simple answer. And styles could be modes. In other words, style of dress, mode of dress, that kind of thing. Uh and then this is a word with sock or duck, an odd sock or an odd duck. Each of those is a normal phrase. So there we go. Word used when making a choice, maybe. Eeny is an eeny, meeny, miny, mo, the children's sort of choosing rhyme. There we go. So fancy billiards shot. Mass, M-A-S-S-E, is that a... I don't recognize that, but I'm not surprised that I don't because... I don't know. I, I didn't think I was going to have that knowledge, but we'll come back to it. Controls. If one controls a ship, one mans a ship, for instance. So that looks like the answer. And then to come into view would be to emerge. If something emerges, it comes into view, emerges from the fog or something. 
So what about this O? Do I think I can see anything about it? Fond news? Fond... Oh, fondness. Oh, sorry. That was very straightforward. Okay, fondness. And you could say fondness is a synonym for love. So maybe we're going to be spelling out synonyms for love in all four uh, letters that themselves spell love. Let's find out. We'll get there soon enough. Pit, e.g. Oh, the, as in the pit of a fruit would be the seed. There we go. And then, oh, asylum seeker. Okay, there we go. That's the phrase. Good. Okay, well, that corner came together nicely. So can we build on it? Sword go with. Sword and shield. Those are commonly paired in, I don't know, medieval sort of combat, say. And potato part could be the eye. Uh, potatoes have eyes, so the eye of a potato could be a part of it. And then alma mater for Martin Scorsese and Lady Gaga in brief. Um, NYU, I guess, New York University. That seems believable, so I'm going to put it in with that Y. And sink components are drains. You have a drain, of course, in the sink. I can help. Use me, you might say. And then playful suffix for best is est, as in biggest, tallest, etc. French holy title abbreviation would be uh, S-T-E for saint. There we go. And high schoolers typically, and I, I suppose we're doing this with French because um, we need that E on the end, whereas saint in English would just have S-T. Um, and now I'm trying to think, in French, does this distinguish between masculine and feminine in the abbreviation, I'm not actually sure. I can't remember. You'd think it would, because the E suggests to me a feminine ending. But anyway, we'll keep going. Uh, high schoolers typically, someone will tell me in the comments. High schoolers typically are teens, teenagers. And achievements for Andrew uh, Lloyd Webber and Elton John, colloquially. Right, okay. I think we just had this in the puzzle within the last couple of days, actually. I think in the singular, maybe. But EGOTs, Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony is so um that collection is often referred to colloquially as the egot so uh andrew Lloyd weber and elton john have apparently both earned those collections italian city known for its limoncello i'm not sure offhand i mean this is limoncello the liqueur but i don't know maybe maybe i'll maybe that'll ring a bell when i see the answer but i don't know off the top of my head audacity if you've got audacity you've got you've got some nerve to um bring that sensitive topic up with me, you might say to somebody. A serial performer, so a TV actor, I guess. So a serial in the sense of a serial, you know, serialized fiction. So maybe a um, long television series and a performer in it would be a TV actor. Did a marathon say, if one did a marathon, one ran, that's straightforward enough. And self-driving cars have lots of these. They have lots of sensors to detect other vehicles and road obstacles and things like this. Okay, still not sure about the Italian city. What about this one? Oh, here's our theme revealer, potentially. Valentine's Day exchanges, or what this puzzle's shaded areas are. Love letters. There we go. Very good. So we are, they're the letters of the word love, but also they contain within them I have further expressions of love. So they're sort of doubly love letters. There we go. Great. Here we have Salt Lake City athlete. This must be a Ute from Utah because Salt Lake City, Utah. And then, uh, well, I guess it's the other way around. I guess it's the Utes who, the, the people who, whose name was used in Utah. Anyway, uh, comforting touch. Uh, but in this case, it would be um, <laughs> then further derived from, from that to be the team name. Anyway, comforting touch would be a pat. Maybe you pat somebody in a reassuring manner. And a vegan salon brand, a, a Vita or a Vina. I had no idea they were vegan, but maybe, I guess that's what the VE are doing. I do, I, I do at least recognize this as a brand name. I think it's a D. I think there might also be an Avina, maybe. Might be another company name. I'm not sure, but in any case, I think this is the, the answer. Uh, let's check that D, though, to be sure. Yammered. Okay, well, the yammered past tense suggests that D is probably correct. So yammered, you 
yacked. You'd probably want two Ks for that. You've, you've yammered, you gabbed again, you'd want two Bs. You, I just can't think, but I, but I think, I think Avita is right. Scarface in quotation marks. Why is it in quotation marks? What is that getting at? Oh, Cap Capone, Al Capone was nicknamed Scarface. So it's in quotation marks because it was a nickname of the famous gangster, Al Capone. There we go. Okay, where are the five most widely practiced religions originated? Um, where are the five... Oh, I wrote Al Pone. That was completely wrong. Capone, Al Capones. We're just putting in his last name. Yeah, I completely just went over that. Okay, so it's Asia. That's what I wanted to put in there. And then I was um, confused. Okay, well, there we go. Yes, Asia. And then and uh, several of them, uh, three of them in the Middle East in particular. Okay, resource for service members, colloquially. Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oklahoma's blank Air Force Base. Um, and then like many bodybuilders, according to BMI alone, obese maybe? Uh, I suppose the I, I don't know enough about how BMI body mass index is calculated, but I suppose bodybuilders must have enough body mass that they would be considered obese if that were the only factor you were considering. Okay, fan of the flame. Hmm, not sure. Question mark. So some kind of pun here. So is it someone who's a, who's an appreciator of a flame? And by that, do we mean fire or do we mean a kind of romance? A moth. That's a, uh, right. Okay. A moth is the, is a fan, is an appreciator of a flame in a literal sense of, of uh, fl a fire that they will try to approach of light. Okay. So there, oh, although this doesn't look very good, does it? Hmm. Snake on a limb. A, a boa, maybe you, no. I was thinking like a feather boa. I was trying to be sort of uh, punny about it, but that isn't actually a snake. It's just shares a name with one. Hmm. Okay. What about this? Mes members of the genus Vespa. I'm not sure. I probably will. It'll probably seem obvious when I get it, but I don't know right this moment. Okay, I'll have something wrong here. Do I think it's drains? Sync components could be basins. That would allow me to change all of the bits that aren't already crossed. Oh, this would be boa in that case. How interesting. Snake on a limb. I'm not sure what four-letter word we're looking for here. Members of the genus Vespa. Confidence. Aplomb. You performed your task with confidence, with aplomb, with, with panache. Okay, so maybe that'll help me get something. Chamomile and cedarwood for two. Those are what? They're plants? They're woods? What are they? Hmm. Chamomile, obviously associated with tea. I guess cedar. No, I don't think that's a, I don't think that's a tea. I mean, it doesn't, cedar wood, I don't know why that would be. Anyway, sorry. Popular Italian beer. Peroni is an is a, a Italian beer brand. And Blank Carriou, Broadway's original Sweeney Todd. Oh, I've, I think I've heard of the actor Len Carriou or Carew. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but that sounds familiar to me. Let's look at this. Oh, tree, a tree boa. Is there a snake called a tree boa? That would be, it would be on the limb of a, of a tree. That would make sense. Oh, are Vespa hornets? Okay, good. This is all coming together. So chamomile and cedar wood for two. Aroma. Oh, right. Aromas. Cedar is associated with a nice scent. You sometimes will get a, you know, a sort of bit of cedar that's used for its scent. I mean, explicitly for that purpose. So then what about this? Genre associated with guy liner and black nail polish. That would be emo. Um, I guess kind of lightly goth adjacent, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that's classified exactly, but there we go. I think that's the answer. Resource for service members, colloquially, the 
Oh, the VA, the is it the Veterans Assistance or something something like that. It but but yeah, it aids aids military veterans. And then Oklahoma's Vance Air Force Base. Okay, well, sure, looks right to me. Uh, witch could be a crone is often used to refer to a witch. And walk-ups often are walk-ups. I mean, I, I don't know, lots of different things could be walk-up, whatever thing in question. What about this? Yammered. Oh, we looked at that. Okay, let's look elsewhere. Feathery perennial. Is it a flower? Lavender? I have, I have no idea if lavender is... <laughs> is a feathery perennial it's just it just fits in here and it starts with an l so i'm going to check the crosses I, this might be completely wrong but let's just look and see actress wong ali wong um definitely is, that'll be correct and like the blue side in brief i do not know what this is asking for and here we have kagan on the court elena kagan uh supreme court justice in the U.S. Intervals are timeouts, maybe? Or timings? No, timeouts. If you take it, I mean, an interval in the middle of a, um, of a dramatic performance, for instance, or be referred to as an intermission in, in the U.S., is a kind of timeout from the performance, I guess. I don't know. I, as I'm saying it, I'm realizing it's not a very close match, but it probably does have some, something to do with time. Let's see. Have you heard back yet? Any news? Oh, this isn't lavender. Okay. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be surprised. I, that was a bit of a random stab in the dark there. Okay. So feathery perennial. La a lady something, lady. That isn't, if there's certainly flowers whose name begins with, with lady. Um, I don't know, but I think that's probably right. Okay, so the blue side in brief is Dem for Democrats in the United States. So in other words, red and blue, the colors of the two major political parties. Okay, post-its, e.g. are notes, I suppose, e.g. Right, okay, so the e.g. in the sense of a post-it could be, it's an example of a note, e.g. For, for example. And so um, there we have it. 21 say is of age. So in... In the U.S., if you're 21, you're of age when it comes to um, purchasing and consuming alcohol. And then, oh, intervals are time gaps. Oh, that was very straightforward. Okay, well, there we go. That was, yeah, very, very straightforward answer. Glad you noticed our hard work. We try. Oh, yeah, so if someone gives you a compliment, you could respond, glad you noticed our hard work. Or you could sort of just demur and sort of say, oh, we try. There we go. Used a little of as someone else's speaking time. Ate, if you ate into someone's speaking time, you might have done that. Oh, and I never looked at, sorry, I never read this word here. We have romance is our another one of our collections of love letters. And then here we have respect, maybe. Respect is a form of love. So let's see, bench press, or can be anyway. Bench press muscles informally are pecs or pectorals. And then CT goes here. And then a final watcher is a proctor. So someone who watches students take a final exam, which could be a proctor. Sister of Helios is Eos. So here we go. We have, we have gods, um, Greek gods, and then part of GPS abbreviation is system. So the S for uh, system as in global positioning system. I've seen it satellite as well, but, but I've seen, I've seen both. All right, hospital locales could be, in this case, it could be ORs or ERs for operating rooms or emergency rooms. But what about this? Italian city known for its limoncello. Oh, Sorrento. Okay. Well, I certainly recognize it as an Italian city. I don't know that off the top of my head I had a limoncello association, but there we go. Clearly the answer. Let's finish off this last corner. Alice and Janney's role on the West Wing. Oh, um... I don't remember that character's name. Anyway, we'll come back to it. Easter Island. Easter Island. It is capitalized. So is this, this would be probably the traditional name prior to being named Easter Island. I'm sure I know this and I, and I can't think what it is. Okay, walk-ups often. Right, we looked at that. I don't know. Let's keep going. Blank training requirement for high school graduation in most states. 
Um, I'm not sure about that either, actually. Puddle producer, a, a tear or rain? Rain. Rain produces puddles. Some Greek letters. Well, if it's plural, some Greek letters, plural. The only thing I can think of would be news. Plural of new, of course. I think that's right. Connected as a bathroom, an ensuite bathroom, if it's connected to your, um, well, to a bedroom. Oh, lady feet, maybe? Feathery perennial? That seems plausible. And sister channel of QVC. I think QVC is a, it's one of those home shopping channels on which you can order merchandise by calling in. I don't think I know what this one is, though. No, I don't. I can't think what this one would be. All right. Kind of, well, I guess it's an H because kind of, sort of is ish. You could say, oh, there are five ish, kind of, sort of. Role in a game of taboo. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I might have played this at some point in my life, but I am not sure offhand. Role in a game of taboo. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. Walk ups often. I don't know why this is so confounding. And then dog tag wears in brief GIs, maybe. So um, this is referring to military dog tags, not literally on dogs, but those metal tags that have a you know, name and I don't know, some other information, maybe rank. I don't know. But in any case, there we go. So Alice and Jenny's role. Oh, CJ Craig. CJ Craig was the name of her character. Is it spelled this way? I wouldn't have known that, actually. I would have just assumed it was spelled, it was spelled C-R-A-I-G. But, but en suite, I'm pretty confident about, so I don't really want to change that. Let's look at this. We're only game. Oh, guessy. So taboo must be a game in which you guess things. I didn't even, I didn't even remember that. Uh, but there we go. Must be, oh, Rapa Nui. Rapa Nui is, is Easter Island. There we go. There we go. I did know that. Um, probably could have gotten that with even fewer crosses, but I just wasn't really thinking about it. All right, if one yammered, oh, one jawed. Okay, there we go. Wasn't on track to guess that one, so thank you to the crosses. And walk-ups often, can I finally see this? Oh, low rises. Oh, I see. Right, I was completely thinking of the wrong sort of thing. I was thinking here of a, I don't know, a walk-up, well, I guess I was going to say walk-up clinic, but that would be a walk-in clinic, but a walk-up bar maybe or something. But but no, it's a walk-up as in a uh, an apartment a walk-up apartment without a, you know, an elevator or something like that in a low-rise building. There we go. And then, oh, CPR training, requirement for high school graduation in most states. Interesting. I can't remember doing that. Maybe I did. I, I know I have taken CPR training in my life, but I don't remember doing it in high school. Uh, who knows? Anyway, maybe I did. Oh, no, I did. It's not right. Oh, no, that's a shame. Okay, well... Where do I look? HST, I'm not very confident about. Sister channel of QVC. Home shopping network, HSN. Lady Fiend isn't right. I guess Guesser. Oh, oh no, Guesser could be, I guess he could be Guesser because uh, Lady Fern. Wow, right. Oh, that's it. Wow, okay. Well, good. I'm glad this was the last bit of the puzzle I solved because because HST, it just didn't sound like anything. I mean, I don't know that I've ever even watched HSN, but at least I can imagine it would mean Home Shopping Network. So it was a little bit easier to feel confident about that. Okay, well, that was that was a bit of a lucky uh, conclusion. I think had I ended up here, it's pretty unlikely I would have remembered to <laughs> to consider this, this answer. But anyway, there we go. Fortunately, didn't have to subject you to a bunch of grid scouring. So we have filled out our four love letters, our Valentine's Day exchanges, or what the puzzle's shaded areas are. And we've spelled out romance, fondness, respect, and passion. There we go. Passion we hadn't looked at during here. So there we have it. Four um, arguable synonyms, or at least sort of maybe elements of or aspects of love. There we go. And a nice, very timely puzzle for today. I think maybe maybe just a tad on the gentle side for a Wednesday puzzle. I don't know. Um, I felt that way for most of it. And then in that last corner, I had a bit more trouble. 
Um, but let me know how you fared with this one, this Valentine's Day puzzle. Was it a was it a lovely gift or was it was it some kind of curse? I don't know if you struggled with it. Um, it probably was not a curse. But anyway, there we go. That was the Wednesday crossword. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will, of course, be back tomorrow for the Thursday crossword when the theme becomes perhaps a bit more involved or complex. We'll have to find out. So do join me then. But until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Wednesday and happy Valentine's Day. Uh, take care. Bye for now.